I have a notepad of all my RuneScape login emails and passwords. Please don't tell the hackers. I was looking through it and found an old account of mine that I hadn't used in years. One that I made for the purpose of a video that I uploaded four years ago. It was just a teleblocker to help out my other accounts, but now I'm going to be upgrading to an overpowered build with the most updated methods of 2022. Okay, so not rock crabs, but seriously, everybody goes to sand crabs nowadays, and rock crabs are completely empty. Free XP. 40 ranged. Quests are the way to go for early levels. Did waterfall quest already back when I started the account. Now tree gnome village complete for 36 attack. And now for strength training. Thirty to fifty-six strength at rock crabs got forty-eight hit points with that, and that's where I'm leaving it for now. I'm training up more of my strength at the blast pump, which is so AFK. Literally five minutes where I don't have to touch the screen, and it's twelve k strength XP per hour with zero hit points experience. I want to keep my hit points low while my strength goes up, potentially leaving room to become one of the lowest levels to equip the nightmare staffs. Back when the nightmare staffs were pitched, they were going to be way too overpowered for ten hit point builds. So I suggested that Jagex make them require 50 hit points and that the volatile staff always register its damage two ticks after the person fires the spec. I probably should have suggested higher requirements though, because this account will be able to hit 67s at just level 57 combat. I lost my membership. It's slow, but it is worth it. Seven days later, 73 strength and I stayed 48 hit points the whole time. Dwarf cannon completed. Now I can use what I think is the most overpowered weapon in the game the dwarf multi-cannon. Strength and mage are high, range is struggling behind, so I'm at Zaya Hill Giants, my favorite AFK spot to get up the range levels quickly. 55 ranged, could use red chinchampas, which would be good if I wanted hit points XP, but we'll avoid that for now. I've been working on this account so long that they did a Zaya rework right under my feet. Well, that suits me, I'm getting just under 60k XP per hour, which I feel is very good for my level. I've got an alt parked underneath my cannon that I interact with every five minutes, keeps the hill giants from attacking me. 61 ranged, I can now upgrade to the rune crossbow, offering more accuracy for my cannon and increasing my XP per hour by just that little bit extra. 75 ranged, very helpful because it unlocks the blowpipe and the twisted bow, if I can afford that anytime soon. Splashing in the downtime to get up some magic levels, 85 now, which means I don't need magic potions anymore to cast teleport block. Give it a wave. Fifteen magic accuracy and two percent damage bonus. That's the power of the upgraded god cape from Mage Arena 2. I think it's time for me to visit platform nine and three quarters. I usually take a trip there once a year but Harry Potter is not available on Netflix in my region. Luckily, I'm a member with ExpressVPN, so all I have to do is change my virtual location to Germany and I can watch every movie in the series with a few clicks. Thanks to ExpressVPN for supporting my channel. Use my link in the description below, expressvpn.com slash kempq, to become a member and unlock all the perks. Unogs.com. It's a website that shows you exactly which countries you need to change your location to for unlocking whatever movie or TV series you want. For Harry Potter, choose Germany. For Rick and Morty, choose France. And for South Park, choose Germany, France, or the other 20 odd countries. Anything you want to watch, type it into Unox search bar and you'll have no trouble. ExpressVPN is a virtual private network that allows you to port your internet connection to one of 94 other countries across the globe. But ExpressVPN isn't your typical VPN, they are rated number one in the world for a reason. They're trying to pay people to hack into their best-in-class data encryption, but nobody's had any luck. So your information and what websites you go to are secure. No Nobody can see what you do online, not your service provider, not the government, not even ExpressVPN. All this while masking your IP and keeping you safe from malicious RuneScape players that would want to DDoS you and scam your stuff. You can also get three months for free by going to my link in the description below and support the channel while doing so. Every click of the link and every download helps a lot, so thank you and thanks to ExpressVPN for supporting the videos.
Now the goal is to max this account, right? Well, in the meantime, I want to hit the perfect level combination at level 57 combat. And I want to make sure that every stat is maxed out. And that's where most one defense accounts go wrong. Building a pure is easy enough, but it's very important to remember that you can probably get more stats and be the exact same combat level. I use a combat calculator for this to see which levels I can get without gaining any combat levels. But a little trick you can do is take your range or mage level, whichever one is higher, and then multiply that by 150%. And that number will be the highest combined attack and strength level that you can get. So as I have both 85 magic and range, I can multiply one of those by 150%, and that will get me to 127. 50 attack, 77 strength. Everybody's favorite part of building an account. I'm going to see how long it takes me to get through all the quests I need to do on this account starting at 13 days, two hours and 39 minutes. Let's go. And nobody likes running to the Grand Exchange every single second, so I bought everything I need already. <laughs> And rune mystery is complete. Now, I'm not just getting mithril gloves. I'm also going to quest up my prayer XP up to 31 prayer for ultimate strength. And I also want to show you what I'm pretty sure is the best training method in the game, which I will talk about in the next video. But it does require me to do a few quests before that, mostly on Zaya. Depths of despair complete, trapped sold down, and now doing the ascent of Archaeus quest. Completed. 26 construction, 35 crafting. Headless beast going down, and that's getting ahead complete. Or from the deep complete lots of xp and i unlock the prayer books which give plus five prayer bonus really really good for this build yes yes give me the same rock and you know what the best thing is i didn't have to train any agility to do that because i just boosted it up through quests Twenty-two thousand strength experience and haunted mind completed salve amulet unlocked now to get the enchanted version though no it requires 40 slayer all right just decided to do it Oh my, man. 50 attack, there it is. Oh, makes me want to go PK right now. I mean, I technically have some PK stuff on me, just don't have the granite mall. Oh boy. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Bye, have a great time. Driver parchment. I just made 2.3 mil. <gasps> I've profited, maybe. I don't know. There it is. 40 Slayer. Tarn's Diary obtained, and I can now enchant the Salve Amulet. And now it's time for Mithril Gloves. If I tickle your fancy. Please? Subscribe. Thank you so Thank much. You. Well, my cat grew. I think you all know what that means. I am teasing the noobs. <laughs> the noobs have been teased. 64 quest points later, 748 total level. For level 57, I have the max stats possible. Oh, except for one prayer level. Beautiful. Ultimate strength unlocked, as well as mithril gloves. Evil Dave is freed, and this is how we finish. 13 days, 23 hours, 43 minutes, which means approximately 312 hours of training and 21 hours of questing. Yeah, the questing uh, was pretty damn slow, but... Otherwise, I'm very happy with how I built this account. Also, there's a document in the description of the recommended quest order and all the items you need for those quests. Next video, let's be honest, I'm going to lose my bank. But I'm also going to show you what I believe are the fastest training methods for an account like this and every other account too that I don't think people have discovered yet. So stay tuned.